my name is Ian Wallman. I'm a production sound mixer for film and video and a field recordist and musician. And today I'm going to talk to you about field recording. Field recordings can be used for music, game design, film and video production. In music, you can use the recordings as percussive beats, as added layers and elements. You can affect the recordings to be whatever you want. I'm going to play you a few recordings that I've collected over the past decade that I've been recording and kind of tell you about how I recorded some of these. The first recording I'm going to play is a solar panel shaking in the wind in Haiti. So this recording was made with the Sennheiser MKH-60. It's a pretty focused shotgun mic, so you kind of point it at things and you can capture what it's pointing at even if it's a little far away. This next recording is an air conditioner vent in a hospital in Orange County. And this recording was made with a um, condenser mic similar to this one. This is a Sennheiser 8040. This next recording is an oil well recording from Long Beach. And this recording was made with a mid side setup. So in the mid side setup, you have the shotgun capturing the center, the middle, and then you have this bi-directional mic capturing the left and the right. And then in post, you can decide how wide your image is gonna be. This next recording is a recording recorded under a freeway overpass and it was recorded with this ORTF setup. And it's just two of those 8040s at 100 degrees. When you add a second microphone, you kind of get a large stereo image. And here's another recording with the ORTF setup, which is um, crickets over by the LA River. This next recording is um, an acorn woodpecker getting really mad at me in the Angeles National Forest. Um, I recorded this with a parabolic dish. Um, the parabolic dish is pretty similar to a shotgun mic um, where it's just mono and then it becomes a little more pointed and directional than a shotgun just because the reflector, this dish, is amplifying what you're pointing at, and then it becomes a lot more directional. Contact mics are great for capturing the sound of a surface. Um, you kind of just tape it onto a surface and see what you get. It, it's hard to know what you're gonna get prior before putting on the contact mic, just cause it, it's always so different than what you're listening to, just cause things transmit so differently within surfaces. This next recording are some crabs in a tide pool, and I recorded this with um, some hydrophones. So one 
Hydrophone is the crank surgeon emergent surgeon. It's great for capturing spaces underwater. Things get a little exciting when we start talking about contact mics and hydrophones. It introduces us to a world that we don't necessarily live in, but we can still listen to it with these different apparatuses. Um, one very exciting thing is recording electromagnetics. Electromagnetics is everywhere just because humans use so much electricity in the world. So, Everywhere where there's a power line, you can hear the electromagnetics of that if you have the apparatus to do that. And one of them is the Soma Ether. So one good solution to get started field recording is the Zoom H5. Um, it's a small compact recorder and one thing that's cool about the Zoom is that the microphones detach off of it and you can have a, a few different options on hand. The Zoom H5 comes with this XY microphone. Another option that the Zoom has is the MS setup. It's, it's great because the both capsules are just in this little ball, so you can still record the two different um, microphone capsules and still play with it in post to see how wide you want your stereo image to be. A third option is the shotgun microphone, and it's similar to the shotgun mic that I was showing you before. So it's very pointed, you can just point it at whatever you want and kind of capture what you're listening to that way. So each one of these mic options are condenser mics and condenser mics are very susceptible to wind noise. Any amount of wind can hit that diaphragm and totally ruin your recording. But luckily, Zoom has different options for windscreens to minimize the wind noise. Not only does the Zoom H5 have the microphone capsules as a stereo option, but it also has two inputs at the bottom so you can attach any external microphone that you want. My favorite part of field recording is the whole listening experience. Just going out into a place and trying to find what interests me about that place whether it's a palm tree blowing in the wind, a certain bird at that location, and trying with the best of my abilities with the tools at hand to capture that sound and bring it with me back home, back into my studio, and then eventually sharing it with the world. This has been a quick introduction to field recording. Thanks to Zoom for providing the equipment for the workshop that we had at Perfect Circuit, and Hope you learned something today.